Hello friends, it's Dave from Save Decks here, here to share with you a little idea that I had. With this being Mario's 35th anniversary and rumours flying left, right and centre about remakes of 3D Mario games, one strange thing I hear people mentioning is the possibility of Mario Kart 8 getting more DLC. I mean, the game came out over three years ago and it included all the DLC from the Wii U version. I feel if they were to drop more DLC, then they would have done it long ago. But it's always fun to speculate and people seem to be having fun with it now, so I thought I'd join in. I feel that if they were to bring DLC as part of the anniversary celebrations, it would be more appropriate for them to do it for Mario Kart's anniversary rather than just Mario in general. But if they were to do this as an anniversary release, then what great way to celebrate the past than to bring back a load more retro tracks. I love how the retro tracks were dealt with in Mario Kart 8, especially the ones from the earlier games such as Ribbon Road or Yoshi Valley. The way they designed them made them feel like brand new courses and I'd like to see some more retro tracks brought back with that same amount of care and attention. So my idea is to introduce 8 new cups. I know that sounds very ambitious, but remember this is all just for fun. Each cup will contain 4 remade retro tracks from a previous Mario Kart. We can have the Super Nintendo Cup, the N64 Cup, the GBA Cup, the GameCube Cup, the DS Cup, the Wii Cup and the 3DS Cup. But wait, I hear you all cry. That's only 7 cups. What about the 8th? Well, you may have noticed that Mario Kart 8 Deluxe contains 3 Rainbow Roads. The Super Nintendo one, the N64 one and the Wii U one. So there's 5 left aren't there? My idea would be for the GBA Cup to include Super Circuit's Rainbow Road and the remaining 4 to be included in the 8th Cup which we shall call the Rainbow Cup. So, the main question is, which tracks should return? Whichever ones got chosen would obviously have their fans and their haters, so I'll just say which ones I would pick if it was completely up to me, and let me know in the comments which tracks you would like to see back. My choices are being decided primarily on just which ones I would like to see come back, and it will not matter to me whether they have already been remade in the Mario Kart game, seeing that Baby Park, Yoshi Circuit and the Super Nintendo Rainbow Road, they've been remade more than once and they're in Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, but I will try to look for a bit of variety. So for example I won't include Moo Moo Farm since we've got Moo Moo Meadows, but there are a couple of similar tracks I couldn't help but keep in. So let's take a look at what my picks will be. For the Super Nintendo Cup, I'm not too familiar with the tracks in Super Mario Kart, but I would like each course to be from a different style. So you'd have one of them be Mario Circuit 1, because I think that's just the opening track in Super Mario Kart and it's quite iconic for me. Uh, Ghost Valley 2, because I liked that remake they did for that in the Wii version. Vanilla Lake 1 and Choco Island 2, just to get some variety in with the themes there. For the N64 Cup, uh, I know these tracks very well and it was hard to decide just for. Now one omission I have made is Wario Stadium. Now that is the only N64 track that's not yet had a remake. And I'll tell you why I won't want this one back. First of all, we do already have a Wario Stadium. I am going to bring back a stadium themed course in a later cup, we'll get to that. But the two things I love most about Wario Stadium on the N64, I feel like a remake of the tracks would ruin them. So those two things being, the fact that you can jump that wall at the beginning for a shortcut to cut like over half the track out, I have a feeling if they remade it they'd make that wall impossible to jump over, they'd raise it a bit higher. And the other iconic moment everyone knows is that jump that you go over it towards the end if you get lightninged or hit by a shell or banana or something, you'd fall down there and you have to redo part of the track again. I mean, that was huge back then. But I feel like if they did that again, they would either put boost pads there so it's not going to be very likely you'd fall down, or they put a glider thing on the end so that you can't fall down, or worse yet, 
if you did fall down there, Lakitu would just catch you and bring you back up again. I feel like today's Nintendo wouldn't allow something like that, so I'd rather Wario Stadium was left alone and just keep it remembered as this awesome track with these awesome features. So let's look at the tracks I would like back in the N64 Cup. That would be Koopa Trooper Beach, Choco Mountain, Bowser's Castle and DK Jungle Parkway. For the GBA Cup, I like what Nintendo did with Cheeseland and Ribbon Road. Let's see them work their magic on Broken Pier, Sky Garden, Sunset Worlds and, like I mentioned earlier, Rainbow Road. For the GameCube Cup, I was very lucky because my two favourite tracks from Double Dash are already in Mario Kart 8 Deluxe and they are Baby Park and Yoshi Circuit, so the fact that they're already gone made it a lot easier for me to choose just four from Double Dash. So my four choices from Double Dash would be Peach Beach, Waluigi Stadium, DK Mountain and Bowser's Castle and I promise you that is the last Bowser's Castle I am choosing. Okay, for the DS Cup, I'm going to go with Luigi's Mansion. I know that's probably a bit too similar to the Twisted Mansion, but it's an awesome track. I want it back. Uh, Delfino Square, Waluigi Pinball, and Airship Fortress. The four I would choose from Mario Kart Wii are Toad's Factory, Coconut Mall, Cooper Cape, and Maple Treeway. And for the 3DS Cup, I think they chose some really good ones already from Mario Kart 7 to bring back. So out of the ones remaining, I would choose Daisy Hill, Shy Guy Bazaar, Woohoo Loop and Wario Shipyard. And of course the final cup will be the Rainbow Cup and that will include the four remaining Rainbow Roads, the GameCube one, the DS one, the Wii one and last but definitely not least, the best Rainbow Road ever, the one from Mario Kart 7. So that's my idea of what they could release as retro courses onto it and maybe if they did it in a couple of waves, if you bought it as a bundle, as a bonus, give us block fort for battle mode. That's what everyone wants for battle mode, why are you not remaking that as standard for every Mario Kart game, I do not know. But that's just my idea for a Mario Kart 8 sort of legacy DLC pack. I do think it's too late to have more Mario Kart 8 DLC now. Maybe they could do this idea for Mario Kart 9, but we'll see what happens then. So what do you think they should do for DLC if they are going to bring more in there? If you liked this idea, what tracks would you like to see come back from previous Mario Kart games? Let me know in the comments down below. And if you like this video, please give it a like. That would be really nice. And we're nearing 200 subscribers now. So if you want to keep up with our future videos, make sure you click that subscribe button as well and join the party. So thank you so much for watching, everyone. I'll see you in the next one.